Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing something a little different. I'm going to be doing my typical ink review and swatching, but I'm also going to ink two pens with these two new inks from Ferris Wheel Press. And just so you guys are aware, I will be doing a voiceover for this video because I was not able to find some quiet time during the day and this was the best solution. And in honor of these very festive colors, I added a little bit of festive decor to my setup here. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about these two new inks from Ferris Wheel Press. These will be launching on November 4th. I'm very excited about these. They're going to be perfect for letter writing or journaling during the holidays, but also for some fun holiday doodles. Now, as I mentioned, besides swatching these lovely inks, I will be inking two of my fountain pens. These are Coeco Sport fountain pens that I have cleaned and flushed in preparation for this video. So as always, Ferris Wheel Press creates the most beautiful packaging. I'm always so excited to see what kind of imagery they're going to come up with next. So this is the Velvet Ballet ink. So picture going to the ballet during the holidays. That's the feeling this ink intends to give off. It's described as Merlot with a metallic sparkle which sounds amazing, and I can't wait to swatch this one. The packaging is, as always, so beautiful, and the artwork is so charming, and you can see here, it's, you can see the little animals sitting in, the, in their velvet seats um, watching a ballet. It's so cute, it's so pretty. Um, but yeah, look at all the details here. I'm always staring at these boxes for a really long time just to find something new but yeah let's let's get started and open up this little package and let's take a look at the bottle i love their bottles as you guys know <laughs> they're always so pretty um this little sticker in the front does show Oh, this little label in the front does show the ink color and here we see the lovely shimmer wow it is so pretty it is beautiful now this looks like a silver shimmer mixed with the merlot i can't wait to swatch this and see what it looks like Okay, so now let's take a look at Twinkling Tea Party. Think a tea party in the forest with twinkling fairy lights against lush leaves. Forest green with a rose gold shimmer. Wow, this sounds so, so pretty. And look at this box. And here you see some of the properties. Um, and this one actually says that it has a sheen of red and a shimmer of rose gold, which is interesting because I haven't really seen any of these um, have a sheen before. It usually just has a shimmer, so I'm kind of excited to see what that looks like. Very cool. Okay, let's open this one up and take a look at the bottle. It's always so safely packaged in here. Sometimes I have a hard time getting the bottle out. As you can see here, I am struggling a little bit. <laughs> and here we go. The cute little potion bottle. So adorable so pretty and this is a twinkling tea party which is a green ink 
like I said, with some gold, rose gold shimmer. Very, very nice. I'm very excited to see what this one looks like as well. So here are the two inks, and we're going to swatch these out. But first, um, as mentioned before, I'm going to ink my two Coleco Sport pens. So here are the pens um, that I'll be inking up. And they're in pieces because I flushed these out and I cleaned them and I wanted to make sure that they're ready for uh, this video. So they're all nice and clean. Um, this is my green Coeco Sport. And these are the little, um, I think they're called reservoirs and the nib. They're all in pieces because I was uh, trying to get them nice and flushed out. So I pulled them apart and I put them in some water. Um, they're still a little bit damp. So I'm just going to speed up the rest of this process for you guys. It's just going to be me putting these pieces back together again. Okay, so I have my two fountain pens ready to be inked up and I have already decided to use my clear Coeco Sport pen with the Velvet Ballet ink and the green Coeco Sport with the Twinkling Tea Party ink, which I think is going to look just amazing. So for those of you who don't know, the Coeco Sport fountain pens use these little ink cartridges, but you're limited to the Coeco ink colors. And I really wanted to use the Ferris Wheel Press inks um, in these pens. So I did some research and found these little tiny converters for Coeco Sport pens. They are from Amazon and they came two in a pack. I can't remember how much they were, but I will put a link down below. As you can see, they're very, very tiny. Um, I will show you how they compare to a regular size converter, uh, which are typically a little bit bigger than this. Um, let me grab one really quickly. Okay, so this is what a regular size converter typically looks like. Um, and here is the teeny tiny <laughs> Coeco Sport converter. It's not a Coeco brand, it's an off-brand uh, one that I found on Amazon. Um, I don't know if Coeco makes converters, I believe, I think they don't, because um, I couldn't find one. Okay, so now we're ready to get these two pens inked up. I am going to attempt to um, Put in these tiny converters and hopefully I don't mess anything up because <laughs> they're so small um, so we'll see how it goes so let's get started I'm gonna start with the clear Coeco Sport pen and I'm going to attempt to um, place the small converter in the pen or actually I think I need to ink ink the converter so that will be interesting because it's so small and it has this little this little push um, area I don't know what you call it <laughs> but you just pull it and that's what sucks up the ink into the converter so Let's see how it goes. All right, so we're gonna do the Velvet Ballet. I'm going to shake this up pretty, pretty well um, just to make sure that all the shimmers get um, mixed in and there's a good balance of shimmer and ink. Um, it's, I typically try to do this very quickly um, once it's all mixed and then try to ink um, the converter as fast as I can to make sure the shimmers don't settle to the bottom 
because that can happen. So I do advise just doing this as quickly as possible. And this tiny converter feels like it's going to fall out of my hands, but it was actually not so bad. And it did pick up a lot of the ink and filled it up pretty, you know, pretty well, which is nice. I did see some reviews on this converter that it wasn't picking up the ink and there was a lot of um, a lot of space left and they had to kind of refill it but I didn't have that issue so it seems okay to me and now the tricky part well the other tricky part is getting it into the pen <laughs> I did find myself having to push a little bit more than, you know, I thought because at first I thought it was not that it wasn't a good fit. So I ended up taking it out to check the opening, but it is a good fit. You just have to really push. And you can tell that it's incorrectly. Oh, look at my hands. They're they're all inked up. You can tell that they're inked um you can tell that it's incorrectly when it doesn't wiggle anymore, so you can feel it's a, it has a good um, hold on it. So there it is. It's all linked up and ready. So exciting. Okay, so now let's get started um, with the next pen. And this is the green Kaweco Sport Fountain Pen. I'm going to ink it up with the Twinkling Tea Party ink. So here we go. Just opening it up and making sure that the ink is nicely um, shaked up so that all the shimmers are mixed in getting a good good balance and like I mentioned before I try to do this um, I try to do this really quickly once I shake it and then try to um, get the converter to soak up the ink as quickly as possible so that we can get those shimmers in there. And it's a little tricky because this is such a small um, converter and the shimmers do tend to quickly kind of disperse towards the bottom so I'm going to do my best to try to get as much of the shimmer as I can. and I can't really tell <laughs> if it picked up the shimmer or not so hopefully it did um, but we'll see all right now now with the other um, pen I did have to push kind of hard but I think I went a little too far this time and and I pushed all the way through which ended up um, not working out. I really got the converter stuck in my Kueco pen here and I had a really hard time getting it back out. So be careful with that um, when you're putting in this converter. Um, do push firmly but not too firmly. What, what I ended up doing was holding the nib tight and as I forced the converter in I held the nib so it didn't pop out this time and that worked that worked out the best in this case so now this one is ready I'm just gonna screw this back on and try to cap it without um, getting it all dirty because my hands are all inked up and dirty and 
and yeah, that's just what happens. <laughs> Be forewarned. All right, so now we're gonna get to the swatching part of this video. Um, I'm just going to get my page ready. And here are the swatches that I did last month and the month prior. So you can see this has been where I've been swatching all of my Ferris wheel press inks. Um, I do want to try to get like a smaller, smaller book that I can kind of carry around with me um, separate from my planner, but for now this is what I'm going to be using. Okay, so here we go. We're going to start with the Velvet Ballet. And I'm just going to, again, just mix this up because as you can see, all of the shimmers get, um, they disperse all the way to the bottom. And I just want to make sure that I grab a good mix of the ink. I'm going to shake this. It's so pretty. Make sure that it's nice and mixed up. And I'm going to quickly try to grab some ink on my brush. And here we go. Oops, I didn't grab enough ink. It's kind of dry, so let me go back. And wow, so beautiful. Such a pretty color. I love the tones of this ink. It's really, really nice. And um, it may look a little bit on the brownish side, um, but it's it's more of a of a berry, um, a little burgundy. It's got some a little bit of pink in it so it's not a brown color so it may look a little bit brown on my screen um, but it's not and that may change a little bit later once it dries more but I think it might just be my lighting um, but yeah it's a very nice like a, a berry a merlot type of color it's very very a very very pretty color And what I'm doing here is just swatching another circle here with, uh, without re-dipping my brush, uh, just to see the variance in the color um, when, a, when the brush has a lot of ink and when it doesn't have a lot of ink. You can kind of see how dark it gets and how light it gets. Very pretty. And look at the shimmer here. It's very prominent. It's very nice. Um, it's like a silvery, silvery toned shimmer. Very, very pretty. Okay, so now we're going to swatch the Twinkling Tea Party ink. And I'm just going to shake this up and make sure that all the shimmers are mixed really well. So here we go. It looks like such a pretty color in the bottle. It almost looks teal, but it's not. It's like a green. It's like a yellow green, but it has a little, a little bit of blue in it, which gives it this very interesting color. So again, I'm going to do the next circle swatch and I'm not re-dipping just to get a feel for uh, the variant, variance in color that you get when you have a lot of ink on the brush and less ink on the brush. But you can see the yellow tone kind of peek through now, which is really, really pretty. At first when it laid down it almost had like a bluish tint to it and then it changed and I think that happened with the the velvet ballet as well because it had a little bit of a brownish tone 
in the beginning, but now you can see it looks a lot more like a like a berry, berry, a little bit maroon type of color. It's really, really pretty. And the shimmer, I mean, come on, that, it has a lot of shimmer. Now, the Twinkling Tea Party, not so much. Um, so I'm guessing that maybe I didn't mix it as well. So I'm gonna give it another shot and I'm gonna remix this and try to grab and pick up more of the shimmer um, to really see if we can see what that rose gold shimmer looks like because I'm not really getting it um, on the swatches that I made. So let's see. Let's see how it looks a little bit blue, like it has a little blue teal kind of color but it, it does change as it dries, which is very, very interesting. But I'm hoping that we pick up some of the shimmer here. And that is my hope at this point. And, um, but really my conclusion with this ink was that Either the shimmer is just so delicate. I mean, you could see the shimmer, but it's very faint. Um, it's very, very small, very tiny amounts. Um, so I didn't really get as much compared to the Velvet Ballet, but you can see some of the gold um, sheen, not gold, sorry, some of the red sheen there that's kind of collecting and pulling at the edges which is really, really pretty. But unfortunately, I could not get the gold shimmer to really pop the way the Velvet Ballet uh, silver shimmer popped. Um, it could just be my bottle. Maybe I didn't get one with a good mix. I'm not sure, but, but yeah, I tried twice. I couldn't get it, but it is still a very, very pretty color. Now I'm going to do some writing samples with my Kaweco Sport fountain pens that I just inked up earlier and see how these colors look. So very excited to see how this writes um, with the Velvet Ballet ink. I am going to post it because with this pen, since it is small, it does work really well in my hand once I have it posted. And here we go. So this is a really, really pretty color. It's, it's a little muted. It's not a rich, rich, dark red. It has a little bit of a of a wine berry type of color in it and I love the way it writes. It's really really pretty. Really loving this color. I just want to see how how it writes some more. I'm really having fun here <laughs> taking a look at how this um, this color looks. I, I don't own anything that is remotely um, red or berry toned in ink and this is really really nice. I love that it's not like a red red like a holiday red it's more like a like a wintry berry red it has like a wine a wine um, tone and element to it as well. And this one is called the Velvet Ballet. It's very nice. Now here I am not seeing the shimmer come through. And there's two reasons why that could be the case. Um, I am using a extra fine, or is it fine? I think it's fine. Let me, let me take a check. But I'm using a fine, um, yeah, it's a fine. I'm using a fine nib. And also, the converter is very small. So, 
Uh, it could be because it picks up such little ink and there isn't a lot of room for things to move around. I'm not sure, but it's definitely a fine. And Ferris Wheel Press does recommend a medium um, to broad nib for their shimmers, um, for the shimmer inks to really, really show up. So, so keep that in mind. I am going to try this new um, dip pen glass dip pen that I purchased from Amazon and I want to see how the shimmers look how the shimmer um, resonates with this pen um, because it does have a similar uh, line weight as a medium nib so let's see how this one does and I just finished shaking up the bottle making sure I get enough of the shimmers in there and let's take a look so this laid down very very heavy and heavier than a medium nib would um, but I think that's just because I gathered a bit too much ink here but we'll take a look and see how the once it dries to see how much shimmer shows up um, but here you can see this is more accurate to what a medium nib would be. It looks good. And I am seeing some shimmers. I don't know if you can. There we go. Um, well, it's still drying, but definitely picked up um, some of the shimmer and a lot better than the Koiko Sport fine nib did um, where there was no shimmer at all <laughs> so if you do want your shimmers to show up I would definitely recommend uh, a medium nib for these shimmer inks and and yeah so I'm very happy with this color and you can hopefully see the shimmers I can see them um, hopefully you can see them too um, but yeah very happy with this color it's very very pretty and now let's see how the twinkling tea party looks let's shake it up a little and I'm going to use my green Kawiko Sport which I inked up with the twinkling tea party ink and not really expecting the shimmer to show up here but still want to see how this ink looks with this pen and how it writes. So very pretty, really, really loving the color. Um, yeah, not seeing the shimmers here, but look at this green. It's such a pretty, pretty green. Oh, it's, it's really, really nice love it and it looks really nice next to the velvet ballet as well I mean these are festive colors but on their own they can be used during the winter season I mean this green could be used in the spring as well so you know, next to each other they look very festive, but they can be used, I think, throughout the year. Maybe the maybe the velvet ballet is more of a autumn, winter, and holiday type of ink, and the green, the green is more flexible. I think you can use this in the spring, in the fall, and during the holidays. Um, Maybe the summer, not sure, but but yeah, I always look at color that way to see what seasons I can use them in. Okay, so now let's try the glass dip pen and, um, and we'll see how or if the shimmers pull through. I hope they do. Um, as you saw earlier, I did have some trouble picking up the shimmers with my brush. Um, I'm hoping that they show up here. 
Um, and it does say that there's a red sheen and a rose gold shimmer. The red sheen did show up with my brush, but I, the gold, gold shimmer um, just showed up slightly. And you can see here more of the difference between the thin, the fine nib versus this more broader, broader nib. And you can see how dark the color ends up coming coming through. So the green changes pretty drastically with the broader nib versus the, the finer nib, which is very interesting. That didn't happen with the Velvet Ballet. You can see the colors still kind of stayed a little bit on the lighter side, not as, not as rich um, with, with the numbers that were written with the medium nib. But with the Twinkling Tea Party, yeah, the, the color really, really got richer and darker. That green got really, really dark. But again, no, well, there is shimmer. There is some shimmer, um, but it's very light. It's very delicate. It's a more delicate shimmer, which is not picking up on the camera. But you can see the shimmer in the Velvet Ballet. It's very, very prominent. Um, but in the Twinkling Tea Party, it's very light, almost like the shimmers were just extra fine. <laughs> so it's in there, it slightly glitters, but it's very tiny, very tiny. So it could have been my bottle. I think, I think that's what the case might be. I wonder if anybody picks up this ink um, or has the ink to let me know if they have the same um, effect where the shimmers are just more like pixie dust <laughs> very very fine and there you can see it here there you can see it look at that so you can see the shimmer it's very fine it is showing up but versus the velvet um, ballet you know, it's not as prominent, but it is there. Also, just wanted to show you guys what the Spruce County Post looks like in comparison to the Twinkling Tea Party. So as you can see, the Spruce County Post is more of a cooler tone. Maybe there's a little bit of blue in there. And the Twinkling Tea Party has a little of yellow undertone, so it's a warmer green. Both very pretty. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe down below. And thank you to Ferris Wheel Press for sending me these inks. Excited to use these to create some holiday doodles. And thank you guys for watching. Again, these inks will be available on November 4th. You can use my code INKED to save 10% off your order. I'll leave my code in the description below. Enjoy the rest of your day and bye! Oh, look at my inky fingers. <laughs> Bye, guys. Thank mm -hmm. you.